what's going on guys it's Jake and today's unboxing is gonna be kind of different for me because I didn't even know that this was coming out to be honest so let me just kind of tell you a story really quick so there I was just you know strolling through Target trying to look for Bakugan honestly I was there yesterday because yesterday was the first the official launch for Bakugan and honestly there has been nothing Beyblade at my stores for I want to say like two months so I was just strolling through Target looked at the Beyblade aisle there was nothing Bakugan there was nothing but then I went to the other side a completely different aisle and there was this the Ripfire Beyblade Burst Turbo Z Achilles A4 so like I said, I got this at Target. I didn't even know that this was coming out. I, I've never heard anything about this. I've heard no listings for it. I've seen like no leaked pictures and maybe that's because I'm like behind or on news or something. I don't know, but I didn't even know this was coming out. So um, let's just unbox it. So here you go guys, the Beyblade Burst Turbo Rip Fire Z Achilles A4. What's special about this versus the regular ones, um, if you don't really know what Rip Fire is, is that it has a recolored um, layer that's a little bit more clear so you can see lights. The disc is completely different and then the performance tip is honestly super big. Uh, but it has lights in it, and you can still use a regular launcher, which is really cool. But it has lights in it, so whenever you launch it and battle it, they'll kind of light up and stuff. Just taking a look at the back, you can see the three pieces yet again. And this also still has a slingshot gimmick, which is pretty cool. And then you can see the stats right here, and this is a balanced type Beyblade, so all the stats are pretty even, with attack and agility being the highest. But since it's balanced, I would expect defense to be a little bit higher. All right, so without further ado, let's tear this thing open. Let's just, come on, come on, there we go. We're just gonna rip this, ah, ah, get out of here. Okay, so we have the instructions still left in the box. Let's just trash those, you don't really need that. The first thing we have is the rip cord which is just a basic ripcord, you don't really, I mean, I guess if this is your only ripcord, but if, is it, if it's not your only ripcord, it's pretty trash. Then we have the basic slingshot launcher, and this one is definitely not my favorite Hasbro launcher. I like the Switch Strike ones better, mainly because, like, it's just this shape right here. If you put your fingers like this, a Beyblade is going to hit that, so you kind of have to hold it, like, this. Eh, not my favorite. Now we're going to move in to the Beyblade itself. And we're going to be taking a look at first the Slingshock Driver. The Slingshock Driver that is also somehow Ripfire. They were able to do both. Well, there's this little tab. Let's pull that out. There we go. And it kind of looks pretty cool. So you just pull this out and twist it. And there's one mode. And then you can just twist it back, push it, and twist it again, and there is the other one. So, just like regular Extend. Okay, next piece we're going to look at is the disc. And this one's kind of weird. Oh, it's basically like the Boost Disc. Or at least that's the name I remember. But this disc definitely looks interesting. It's not a big version of Eleven or anything. I think this is the same one that came on Valkyrie. Like Valkyrie V2 or something like that a while ago. Maybe it's just me though. And finally, we have the most important part. Boom. The recolor to Z Achilles A4. Just to take a closer look at that, it looks really good in my opinion. Like I like this a lot. And I like how really, you know, they the parts that were metal on the Takara Tomi one, they just made that clear. And I, I don't mind that. I think that looks a little bit better. I also like how it has like this ruby aesthetic and it's like clear. I don't know, I, I like this. I don't really like the yellow in that, the middle part. I wish they kept this like a different color, but I like this layer better than the regular one, I think. And then here is the QR code if you wanna scan it onto the Beyblade Burst app. So let's put this together really quick. I think it's like that and 
There we go. Okay, well, first things first, this is actually kind of tight. Like, the slopes on this layer might be way better than the ones on the original one. Like, this actually takes a little bit of force to undo. Maybe I'll do like a rip fire versus regular test in a future video, but just from what I see so far, this is pretty good. Way better than the original one. So now the lights are off because I want to show you guys the... So now the lights are off because I want to show you guys the rip fire part of this Beyblade. The fact that it lights up. So, three, two, one, go. And there you go. You see the lights turning on and the camera honestly doesn't even really do it justice. Here, let me see if I can maybe turn the brightness up a little bit so you can see it better. Just a little bit better right there. But you can just, the light's actually really cool because it's not just the centerpiece, the entire Beyblade is like glowing. And that is pretty awesome actually. And I'm actually kind of interested to see how this Ripfire Bay does in battle. So I'm just gonna put it up against Fornius F4 and we're just gonna see how it does. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Oh, Achilles with the aggression. Okay, guys, I actually think that Ripfire Achilles is just way better than regular Achilles in every single way. The Hasbro version, at least. This is actually kind of cool. I like this a lot. Alright guys, that is going to wrap up this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button down below. Maybe hit subscribe, that'd be pretty awesome. And tell me, do you guys want me to do another Ripfire unboxing? Uh, Fornius was there, but I didn't buy it. So if you guys want me to go back and get that Fornius, I will. So just let me know in the comments down below. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Have fun, and bay away.